Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Bowu School Type 15 Light Tank Rui Bao Leopard. <laughs> Yeah, the name keeps getting longer with these. Oh yeah, this is a uh, leopard tank uh, from the bow school. We already took a look at the lion and the uh, flying shark. <laughs> Just did a review yesterday. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a really cool figure. Uh, now we have the third part right here, which is uh, a light tank leopard. And yeah, like uh, I, 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 I already mentioned this in the video, but I thought like the Bow School um, lines would make like sort of like dynasty looking warriors transforming into uh, army vehicles. We have like the sort of uh, spear warrior here uh, with the other with the dynasty looking armors looking good. But this one is totally different. This one looks more uh, of a modern robot take so he is pretty cool i like i like it i think it's one of the strongest of the lot but uh he is completely different from the other lines so yeah we have the box right here and this one has a window so that's pretty interesting the other one uh, the uh, uh, flying shark didn't have an open window so that's kind of interesting so we have this right here on the side we have a tank yes my box is beat up but <laughs> transport you know on the back we have a couple of screenshots of the robot mode and tank mode legal stuff robot mode inside so yeah let's stop wasting time with the box in let's see what's inside and we just get the fish and nothing else all right so we have the figure right here but we'll come back to it first we have the backdrop which looks pretty really nice a nice uh, forest looking set so yeah some I don't know tank schematics on the back interesting but yeah and over here we have a bunch of stickers so that's interesting that's the first one that has any stickers uh, the other ones didn't have any so yeah we also have the instructions Let's take a look real quick there you go. As for the sticker, I'm pretty sure they are uh, uh, slide on, which I really don't like applying. Let's bring them here. There you go. Yeah, these are slide on. So, yeah, you have to wet them and then just slide on. And yeah, I'm not a real fan of those. A uh, bunch of Chinese symbols and Chinese communism stars, but uh, yeah, not my thing. Maybe a couple of the leopard heads could be nice, but. All of this means nothing to me, so I have no idea what I would do with those, or where to put them. Uh, hopefully the instructions will tell us. <laughs> and we have the paper card thing. So we have the other recent, uh, other uh, upcoming releases. So, yeah, well, we have all these threes right now. We have this one upcoming and the space station. Now in the back we have, like, I have this one, I have these two, and we we're missing these two and the space station, which transform into a dragon. So, yeah, we have two more here, and they only show one more here. So, yeah, which one is which? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and they don't even look like that, that silhouette. So it's probably a third one, so... Got to have more. And we have the instruction right here. So, yeah, uh, instructions are decent-ish. Again, if you can see the size of the thumbnails. They are actually thumbnails size. Um, instructions are small, so kind of get confusing a little bit. Transformation is not that complicated, so thankfully that's good. But, uh, yeah, instructions are somewhat small, and it's kind of hard to see some, some of the stuff that we have to do. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, from one side you have tank to robot, the other side robot to tank, so that's interesting. That's pretty cool. And, yeah, there we go. And we finally have the figure. So, put it here, open it up. Over the side. So, uh, as a accessory, we have the cannon, which acts, uh, doubles as a gun, as a turret, and as a sort of a hammer, I guess. So, interesting. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I I really don't like the design of this as a gun, but eh, I understand why. And we also have a uh, turret. Now the turret is not uh, articulated, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like it could tilt up and down, but it doesn't. So, yeah, it's just a nice machine gun that you put on the turret or the robot mode 
we'll come back to this. And finally, we have the figure. And the figure looks really awesome. I love the look of this. It looks really uh, mighty, really beefed up. Now, when we come up the box, you have like this. You can just flip it out. I mean, this is the backpack, so you can just move it as you wish. So, most of the screen, we see it like this with the uh, tagging threads all going up. Uh, we have like, you can flip this in and have them closer. Or you have that, it can have like backward like this. You have playability, you know? You can move, if you don't like the look of the backpack, you have, you have your choice. I personally like when you open this up and flip them up like this. So it kind of looks uh, like a normal size backpack. Oh, the arms disengage, but there, yeah. So we have the figure and it looks really awesome. As for the accessories, you have like the machine gun while in robot mode. You can either, you have like these pegs on each side of the arms. You can either plug them here to give them weapon, which kind of looks goofy. But you also have like on the shoulder right here. This is the actual good place for the machine gun. Looks like. <laughs> And same thing for the cannon, you have like this peg hole right here, which you can peg on either side of the arms. But personally, I think this looks really ugly. So you have like this cannon, kind of looks, eh, not, not, I got, not that good. So yeah, I don't like that configuration at all. Uh, you can't do much about this. I saw a screenshot where uh, the um, cannon was like that and was, let's remove this. And was applied here, and it looks awesome like this. This looks kind of like a, a war path kind of thing, but it, there's no way to make it whole. I mean, the guy probably just made a screenshot and probably held it like this with his hands, because there's no there's no real way to make it whole. So you have to make it whole with with sand. But it, it looks awesome like this. This would have worked with the big shoulder mounted uh, things on the side. Looks really cool. But yeah, it doesn't hold at all. Uh, what you can do is uh, make it like this, and you can give him like a sort of hammer. So you can open up his arm, place it in. So you can give him sort of a hammer. And that's pretty cool. Uh, oh. <laughs> so you have a big smashing arm. Uh, so what you can also do, another thing, is remove this. And you have like this hole, and you have like sort of a missile right here on the side of the shoulder, which is articulated. So you can just plug this in here. And there you go, you have a cannon on the side. And a cannon, of course, can be uh, moved up and down. And what you're left up with this is just actually just plug it in like this. Yep. It's kind of tight fit there you go and it gives him like a claw weapon and actually this works better for me claw weapon big cannon on the shoulder looks great and you can put the machine gun here and he is a very equipped weapon yeah <laughs> so yeah I, I, I like this mode better with the claw weapon and the shoulder mounted cannon so yeah and we yeah you can hold it a little bit so yeah that's cool <laughs> But yeah, we have a really cool figure. I'm just going to remove the weapons. Yoink. Yoink. So we can concentrate on the figure itself. And yeah, it looks really awesome. There's nice details and paint job everywhere. Looks really nice. Backpack he is clean up fairly nice. We have nice paint job on the wheels, the paint, the, the camo. The torso, even the head looks awesome. The head is on a ball joint, so it can move up and down, left and right, can rotate. And we also have the eye uh, goggles. I love this. I hate the fact that Transformers usually comes with goggles like this, and they never like slide up and down. It's sort of like Ecto One, the Transformer from Ghostbuster, has those goggles, but they don't drop down. And I'm really disappointed in this. But this one does work, and I love this. <laughs> As for the arms, oh, the backpack arms are on a ratchety rotation. They can 
rotate like this. We do have a bicep rotation. We do have elbow joint. It goes like this. The hands can rotate. The fingers can open. They're really tight. There you go. <laughs> we do have waist rotation. Uh, the legs can do the split like this. Legs can go up like this. Backward. No problem either. The knee bends. Uh, not a lot. Well, like half. 45 degrees maybe I don't know it's not that good uh, we do have rotation of the upper thigh and the feet can move up down and tilt on the side so decent amount of pose plastic quality I think he is superior to uh, the uh, sea shark uh, flying shark flying shark feels really flimsy this one uh, feels a little bit uh, more solid and is definitely uh, heftier than uh, the lion. Lion feels really light. This one feels, the plastic feels somewhat the same-ish. Maybe uh, the type of plastic again that would snap before uh, uh, showing stress of mar, uh, mar stress. But it's still a decent plastic. Looks really nice. Feels nice. So yeah, really cool. And uh, yeah, as you can see size comparison, he is fairly the same size as uh, the other ones. And just for comparison with the Transformer, we have here the uh, generate, uh, the Earth, Earthrise Hoist. <laughs> Trouble and I always use it. So yeah, Earthrise Hoist, which is a big deluxe. And you can see he is much bigger. So a big Voyager, small leader class almost. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the figure. Looks really awesome. Uh, nothing else is also. We can move it to you with the transformation. All right, so transformation. Uh, like I said, it's not that complicated, but it's kind of, uh, kind of uh, original transformation. So uh, let's start with the uh, legs. So first up, you need to start with the pelvis. Flip it down and rotate the waist all the way around like this. Next up, you want to take the legs and uh, may want to separate this open this up open this panel up and flip it up like this just for clearance and then you can separate the leg <laughs> kind of hard but yeah it's really tight connection but there you go you separate it in the sort of sideway combining wires uh, that way but just before closing in let's move the arms a little bit you need to close this in like this and then you can collapse it and we'll peg in perfectly like this then you bring this panel down like this this panel will go up like this and this panel will go up like this this will flip like this so just leave it like that make sure everything is pegged in oops oops everything just pegged off ah. So make it sure like this, and this goes ah, like this. There you go. So we have this configuration now. So we do the same thing for the other side. So open this up, flip this open, and then you want to separate the leg. There you go. So bring this like this, flip this open, close this in, close this in. And then you rotate the leg all the way up like this, plug it in, make sure this goes up like this and pegs in like this, and this goes in like this. And now you can bring the legs together, make sure these panels go up like this. So these pegs in, these tabs in, there you go, and these pegs in together like this. Oops, there you go. Make sure everything pegs. And then you can close this. So you have this configuration now. And then you can close this in. And you want to peg the tank threads together. There you go. So we have the uh, legs all done. Next up for the body. You want to uh, may want to remove this and move this a little bit up for clearance. Take the arms. Flip them open. And flip the, the wrists inside here like this. Close it in. Next up, you want to rotate the arm so that it's uh, fit with this part right here. And then you pull the arm out. So flip this open, 
rotate this all the way around so that it fits with the shoulder flip the wrist inside like this and then you pick the arm off lift it up lift this all up and then you flip the arms in like this and bring it all the way together like this and you peg the arms together there you go so we have this configuration now next up for the torso pretty easy bring this like this like this you want to close this in over the head bring this down and bring this up like this then you flip all the way in like this and this one tab there's a hook right here you need to hook it up on the torso like this so let's do this thing on the other side try and show it better flip this flip this like this and you have like this clip right here that will go over and on and now you have to adjust everything and then you can just plug the tank threads together like this and this one's already plugged finally close this in which will clock uh, lock this you have this panel right here you have this peg here so you may want to slide your finger underneath and help yourself with some pressure on it so put this in and there you go and now we have this configuration so close the turret like this and you want to open up these sides like this and now you take the cannon so the cannon usually is pegged like this so you just flip it down and then you slide these parts inside here so slide it like this and then you close this which will sort of lock everything in there you go so now it's really solid and finally you have the machine gun plug this in here there you go and uh, we're pretty much done we have the leopard all transformed and it looks really damn good in vehicle mode I'm uh, sure we have the robot kibble underneath uh, if you want you can turn the head around doesn't you know doesn't do much but <laughs> you still have the robot still but it looks pretty damn good uh, the rotate the, the turret can rotate not 360 though it's just from this way to this way and it sticks but also a little bit loose on my end. I don't know. It's sort of wobbly. That's that's my only gripe with this one. Yeah, the 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 tank thread the tank turret is wobbly. You can move the cannon up, down, no problem. Can rotate a little bit that way, a little bit that way, but it's sort of loose and wobbly. So yeah, that's the only thing. We do have some wheels, so it can roll and uh, it's pretty good for this looks really amazing with all the uh, stickers and decals and stuff looks amazing nice um, light tank <laughs> uh, maybe you can do a, a quick comparison with the lion I won't bother with the jet since it's, it doesn't scale but with the lion yeah, might be worth it and there we have the lion tank so let's move the camera down a little bit but yeah, we have the lion and the leopard, and they are pretty much the same size. I mean, the length and yeah, width, same size. Wow. So yeah, this is a light tank, and this is supposed to, to be a heavier tank. <laughs> pretty much the same size, but uh, yeah, really nice. So yeah, kudos for Bo making like super. Uh, accurate or accurate i mean same size tanks with completely different uh, transformation and uh yeah it's pretty cool i don't have any much else to say very nice i i think this is the better better one of the three so far so yeah i do suggest to get it it's really nice the the, the turret is a little bit wobbly oh and i saw i found out like it's only injured but it does 360 so yeah the turret can spin 360 so yeah just want to correct that but uh, yeah, really cool. Highly recommend. I got this from SearToys.com. I'm going to put the link in the description below the video if you're interested. Go and pick it up. I, I really suggest it. It's a really nice figure. So yeah, it's like I said, it's a better one of the three so far. <laughs> Otherwise, you know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. Hi, right, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.